fine. You liked it? No, I didn't watch it. I don't know why I said it's fine. I, I oh, you said it. you didn't watch it. Oh, yeah. I thought you I said I watched not. it. I think my I wife s- wanted to watch it, and I was like, there is no way on earth I'm watching this show. I mean, it's a good story. It's just... It's true. Too, too much singing. Too much music. <laughs> it's a mu- <laughs> That's it. Too much singing, oh. and it's too long. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Way too long. Yeah. I'll be the saying goodbye. <laughs> it's awful. Good stuff. Yeah. It's good stuff. But my sister watched that all the time, so I think that's why I know Do Re the, Mi Fa so the warm up. That's the Mary that's the Mary Poppins lady's the lead. Oh, she does that too. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Spoon. I did choir sugar one time. Helps the medicine go down. I was a choir boy one one well, time. Well I did too because cool. my high school made me. Oh, did they? Yeah, you had to pick. You either do made art. Him. You do art. <laughs> that's right. A lot of girls in there. Yeah, you, you gotta you hedge your bets, man. Um, Hopefully, you had more hair back then. Though I did I had a lot. It was <laughs> it was quite standoutish, very orange. Um, so you either picked like art, like drawing, or I guess I guess either band and then and then choir. That's yeah. all my choices. So I picked choir, and yeah, I sang. Should have yep. went to a different high school. I sang. See, I don't think there's yeah. anything wrong with that. That's yeah. kind of cool to you know get out get out of your comfort zone a little bit, try something new. You may like it. How do you know? I you could have been a professional choir yeah. boy. It just didn't happen for you, but you know somebody. <laughs> is, that, is that a title of a job? <laughs> professional choir boy. <laughs> also, <laughs> also, how do you know that I wasn't awesome? How do you know? <laughs> I'm just that's, we just know. taking a guess. How do you yeah. know? We know. How? We heard your warm ups. We know. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. That's fair. All right. How you boys doing? Well, um, it's been a week, right? It has for, been. Uh, for both of us, at least. I think it's been a week for everybody. Yeah. I think just the odd schedule, weather, no school, the the temperature kind of was awful, and then it yeah. climbed up. It's just been a week, man. I mean, when's the last time we saw the sun? I don't it's know. Been, it's been a minute. I feel like I'm living in the north. It's like, um, well, you know, I was sunny gonna... in San Francisco on Sunday. <laughs> yeah. the championship game, I'm just saying. Yeah. Oh, which I will say is the greatest day in no NFL football. No wet ball for Purdy, so we should be good. Championship Sunday is the great – two great games. I love yeah. that day. I can't remember the last time I had a team that mattered in that day, but I love that day. 1995? I appreciate that, Lucas. It could have been 96 because it, it carries over to well, the Well, you want me to tell you – January of you 96. Mean 28 years. That's how long, Lucas. Yep, 28 years. Sucks. This was their year, but when you get beat, well, it wasn't like year. forty so it, to twelve. It wasn't. <laughs> here's the problem: it's always their year, and it never is their year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's good, man. Congrats to the Niners. Two more to go. Congrats. I, I can't say that I'm like I'm pumped for the the Lions. That's pretty cool for a franchise like that. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> nah. yeah. I understand where you're coming from. I understand where you're coming from. But yeah, that was fun. That was fun. Uh, yeah, so the, so this week, what is this episode number twenty seven? Who pointed out that this was you? That yeah, this is him. one year anniversary of yeah. our first so recording. I journal. Wow, right? So I was doing my journaling today, and Your I looked diary. back last year. Your diary, yeah, my diary. Your diary. Di- Anthony's diary. Let's call it. Let's call yeah. it what it is. Yeah, it is. And I looked up, and I was like, "Wow, we recorded our first episode of the uh, podcast this day last year." Which is, I'm gonna. Uncanny because this was not planned to do it today. No, nope. and so what? It, what is today? It is twenty. We should get ourselves some cupcakes and some balloons or something. I guess. Yeah, we should have <laughs> celebrate ourselves. Yeah. Is January? No one else is. Huh? <laughs> no one else is. Our ten listeners. So January twenty sixth is one year anniversary, and we decided to go ahead and sit down and record some episodes, and it happened to be. One year ago today that we stepped off into this and recorded one of the greatest podcasts in the history of the world that you can't hear it's everybody true. talking in. This is great. That yeah. was my mic. Yeah. Cut it off. That's all right. It it's on now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I just, every time Lucas talked, I just turned the volume down. Yep. <laughs> yeah. No, that's great. Uh, no, that's cool, man. To think yeah. back. Uh, we, we only released two a month last year, so we did roughly... I can't do the math. That's twenty four, I guess. So, uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Two a month last year. That's twenty four. Yep. Carry the one. Add it's been three. one of those weeks. It's been one of those weeks. So we did it. We did about that many. And uh, this this year we're going after four a month. And so we've already started that in January. So it'll be a little different. Um, yeah, that's fun. How cool! It's cool to look back. 
cool to look back and see where you've come from. And it's also what we can talk about maybe on a future episode is setting goals and a vision. I love that idea. Yeah, that right? sounds cool. Yep. Uh, matter of fact, one reason my week has been so rough is that we, I'm, I happen to be on a leadership team at a manufacturing facility here locally. And uh, we, we got together and reworked our vision, what we want our company to be and what we're going after. And it's painful, very painful, especially when you have so many groups that are trying to do it. And so I, but I love the idea of sitting down and saying, hey, like, we know our true north. We know our focus. Let's set a vision and let's, let's go after it. And so maybe we'll do that in the near future. You guys like that idea? Mm, yeah. Huh? Yeah. Look yeah. It. yeah. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. I'm just all looking right. at these win dad the, jokes. You're just win the Super Bowl. That's it. That's all That's, you care about. Yeah. God bless mm. America. If only. You know, I, let's just throw out some sports stats real fast. And we probably have another episode we're going to talk about this because we're going to get into Super Bowl talk. But the Dallas Cowboys went to over half of the first 30 NFC championship games. That was or, in the 1900s. It was. It, you're right. <laughs> it was. It was in the 1900s. They went 16 of the first 30. And they mm-hmm. have been absent ever since. Ever since? Ever I'm sorry. since. sorry. What's going to tell you? Sucks, man. Huh? So the next 30 years, or, or 28, so far we've been zero for 28. Yeah. We are in the conversation with franchises such as the, the Washington Commanders. No, the Lions just... Well, you now, but yeah, yeah you now. were. So the Commanders, the Dolphins, the Browns. And that's it. And the Cowboys. It's sad, that's man. Good company. It's embarrassing. It's that's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. Yep. Oh, okay. All right, boys. Episode number twenty-seven. Today we're gonna do uh, a new little segment. We're gonna throw some dad jokes out there, right? Still, in my you mean st- I still I can't even. Dude, I'm old. I can't read that far. All right. Um, we're gonna throw some dad jokes out there for everyone and talk a little bit about humor. I think it'll be fun. Uh, I'm a fan of humor. I think we all are. And so this will be a, a great episode. So let, let's get going. I, I think we kind of discussed like two to three dad yeah. jokes. So Is this like a top three? Kind of like a top three. Yeah, but let's do it quick. It'll not, go quick. It'll go quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah let's yeah, rattle yeah. them right. off. Right. Right. We'll do one at a time. Who wants to start? Who wants to start? Here, I'll start. This. To start. I'll start. All, All right. right. All right. Ding, ding, ding. All right. Here we go. Number one. Why do you think I don't trust stairs? I don't know. Why don't you trust stairs? Because they're always up to something. <laughs> Wait, I got it on here. Let's see if we can find it real fast. Nope. 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 Uh, That was was probably what we should... There it is. There There it is. is. All right, that was good, Anthony. That was good. I like that one. Mm -hmm. All right, Lucas, you want to go or you want me to run one? Did you hear about the new movie, Constipation? (laughs) No. No. (laughs) It hasn't came out yet. (laughs) That's great. I like that. Yep. I'm going to use that one. My kids will love that. All right. So I've got mine on some notes right here. And so I wanted to give a – I'm going to do one that's like a little bit of a shout-out to to Tommy because he's a farmer. It's a, it's a friend oh, we all know. Man, so I'm going nice. to do that. And then also Tommy to a, a show I love. But after an unsuccessful harvest, why did the farmer decide to try a career in music? Mm-hmm. No? Oh. Because he had a ton of sick beats. But boom, 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 boom. Oh, wah, nice. wah. <laughs> That sounds like a hey, Dwight Tommy. Schrute. Uh, that is. Uh, Dwight, who, which I love the office. And then for Tommy, who's a farmer, I just That's thought good. I'd throw that out there. And Tommy, we're looking for sponsors. I know you got the feed store in Collinsville. We're open to that. So before yeah. I go over my next one, are we doing two or three? I just need yeah. to. I have three. Okay. I, let's I, do have three. Th- I have three as well. Right, let's do it. Yeah. All right. What do you call a short mother? <laughs> Please tell me. A mini mom. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't know why my head went a different direction, but I like it. I like it. That's great. <laughs> what do clouds wear beneath their pants? I don't know. What do they wear? Yeah, Thunderwear. <laughs> oh, nice. That's good. Oh, do you have to be a dad to laugh at these? <laughs> they're not funny. Like when you read them by yourself, like, eh. but then oh, you get with other people. Yeah, they're, they're when better. you're saying them, that's good. All right. All right. Here we go. What's the difference between a well dressed man on a unicycle and a poorly dressed man on a bicycle? 
I don't know. Your jokes are long. A tire. <laughs> a tire. Uh, yeah. 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 Nice. Nice. That's uh, for my love of bicycles. I had a connection mm. to each of mine, so there you go. That's a good one. Yeah, there you go. All right, I'm saving my best one for last. <laughs> you would appreciate this one. It's got some spiciness in it. <laughs> why was the baby jalapeno shivering? I don't know oh, why. Okay. It was a little chilly. <laughs> <laughs> It's not bad. Not bad. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's good. I like that one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Right. I'm going to put that in the bank. <laughs> Teslas don't have a new car smell. They have an Elon Musk. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's good. I like All right. That. These are great, yeah. man. You guys are coming with it. All right. So I have uh, my sister and her husband. They do not have any kids. He listens regularly. So What's his name? Matthew. Thank you, Matthew. Yeah, Shouting shout out, out to Matthew. Yeah, so here, this one's for you, Matthew. I tell dad jokes, but I have no kids. I'm a faux pas. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Matthew. That's for you, buddy. Nice. That's for you. That's for you. All right. That was good. It's not right. bad. Yeah, that was fun. That was fun. That was fun. So that prompted a little bit of a conversation around, does the Bible talk about humor? This was all you on this one. All me? Yeah. Oh, man, you guys. Yeah. Come on. Nothing? You guys didn't do any? I got a few, few all things All right, here. yeah. All right, so does the Bible talk about humor? I would say no. Ooh. I, I would say it doesn't talk about it in the same sense that we think about humor. And that's, I. you can go back and forth, and I'm sure there's some language things, and if we had an expert, they would say, oh, yeah, this was funny thing they talk about a dog vomiting and whatever like mm -hmm. i i'm sure there's some in proverbs especially you you see that right you see like kind of very drastic pictures portrayed of i can't i can't i'm trying to think of the proverb now i got one here says proverbs 17 22 that's oh that's what proverb. i got there that's you what go. i got a joyful heart is good medicine but a crushed spirit dries up the bones perfect so your, that's yeah that's saying? what i have and yeah. i i'd like to i mean let's dig in there and what I would say is that, you know, a cheerful heart is medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones does not necessarily mean that we're talking about humor like we we just yep. did with the dad humor, right? So I go back to, I think it, it's Sarah, right, that she says her, mm -hmm. her mouth will be filled with laughter and people will understand. And when she, she was old and going to have a baby, that's humorous. I think it's humorous, but I also think that laughter is joy. So I think in the Bible, oftentimes when we see laughter, it's tied to joy. And uh, I, but I, so I think that this verse, and I, I love that you brought that up, Lucas, because I think this verse shows exactly kind of what we're talking about when it comes from joy, that, that humor should be edifying. It should not break down. Right. And mm -hmm. so <laughs> this is very convicting yep. for guys, especially, because I think most circles that we're in, we, Often, especially at a young age, we make fun of each other, right? Mm -hmm. And I think that, I think that's something that we laugh at when somebody falls, or, or I'm trying to think. I mean, well, I don't even want to talk about some of the goofy things that we right. did with our baseball teams, or yeah. our friends sitting around in, as roommates in college, or whatever the case that made us laugh. And those things, I don't. I'm not saying necessarily that we were being evil, but I don't think that they were building people up. And so I think that. What right. the Bible tries to tell us is that humor is totally fine in the right place, in the right spirit, with the right heart. Is that, right. Does that make sense? I agree. So, Don't yeah. get your joy and humor out of other people's <laughs> yeah. faults or... Demise. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's not... That's yeah. not Making awful. fun of other people. Right? Yeah, right. yeah. But when you think about society, I mean, we talk... We, uh, wait, it's you that likes Funny Stone videos? Right? Yeah. Yeah, you love it? <laughs> Tim yeah. Allen. So Funny most, story, yeah. and we watch it here too, and I, I, la I joke about this, but most of the videos on Funny Stone videos, somebody's getting hurt. Yep. <laughs> yeah. And I'm, <laughs> those yeah, are the but, best. But, but, they're, but they're sending those videos in for people to sure, watch. Sure, 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 sure. So that's yeah. a little. It's, I still. They're laughing at themselves on those. Yeah, that's, that's a little different. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think you're okay yeah, to watch yeah. those. I don't think you're going to yeah. catch a heat watching. No, I totally get it. And I think, uh. I, I, re I actually looked up some videos and watched them and uh, Piper, I remember Piper, John Piper talking about humor at one point and he was explaining that when you're with the spirit of God and, and you are a Christian and, and you know, you're, that's your, that's who you are. That's your identity. And then he was talking about one time from the pulpit, he was preaching and talking about going against the culture and he was, 
kind of drawing this analogy of being dolphins and swimming against the current. And he said, doesn't, don't you want to be, do-? you know, if you've listened to Piper, he can get pretty passionate, but he's like, don't you want to be dolphins swimming against the culture current? Or do you just want to be jellyfish floating and going wherever the current mm-hmm. tells you? And he said that like a three-year-old on like the third row raised her hand and said, I want to be a jellyfish. Mm-hmm. You know, and he la- like he stopped his sermon and started laughing, like belly laughing from the sermon. And I mean, there's no way that's not from God, right? And so I think that in instances where those moments capture you, um, it is absolutely godly. And that and so what I told you guys, I have a biography about C.S. Lewis and it talks a lot about his humor in life and how he seemed to be very serious. He was a theologian. He wrote some fantasy books and and, and deep like science fiction books and um and, and then deep theology books that trying to paint the picture for people and uh the book talks about how humorous he was and how much joy he had in life Mm -hmm. and uh it connected his his joy and love for god to how he laughed and and made jokes all the time and it was a really cool book um it doesn't have anything that ties it to necessarily bible verses so i didn't i didn't bring it here but um i i think that if you took it from a like if you were talking about like hey i've got a vision for humor and you said a cheerful heart is is medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. If you bounced everything you laughed about off of that proverb, you know, 1722, if you bounced it off that, then maybe that could be your judge for what is somewhat biblical and okay versus what is not to be laughing about, right? And yep. so I think there's, you know— you know, slanderous or dirty jokes or whatever you want to talk about that things that we shouldn't laugh at. So that that's kind of what I came up with. But yeah, it sounds good to me. Yeah, I, mean, I just think you need to have a some laughter every once in a while. Just makes you feel better, you know. If you were just going around never enjoying yeah. life, you're that's that's no good. No, yeah. that's what I was thinking about too. Like if you know someone that doesn't ever laugh, it kind of puts you off, like right? Eeyore. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah, there's something wrong with them. Wah, wah, wah. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, mm. you gotta have. I mean, I think you have to have joy and laughter every day. Really, you mm-hmm. should, right? To be living life to full in a clean way. But I'm with you on. Um, is is there anything humorous in the Bible? I mean, no. But you know, there's there's nothing. There shouldn't be anything humorous, right? The the Bible story is, hey Jesus, right? That's that's. There's nothing humorous about that. It's like, hey, we this this is the story about redemption, savior. You know, to have eternal life. You know, there's not. But, there's maybe not room for. Yeah, at that point, you know? totally. Yeah, I do think though that when you look at stories and you go and I, it, when you said that, it made me think of Samson's story, right? And how he was foolish with Delilah, but he kept tricking her over and over and over before finally he succumbed to the temptation. But that was kind of humorous. Like this guy is a moron, <laughs> right? You know, you think about it, and you kind of laugh, but it is in his uh, demise. And so, yeah, you're right. I I really couldn't find anything in the Bible that talked about. Um, something that was absolutely just like slapstick. This is absolutely no. funny. No dad jokes. Yeah, no dad jokes. <laughs> but I wonder too if we knew the culture and were around at the time, and and we weren't reading like in English. Maybe there's an opportunity for us yeah. to understand some context that makes it. Actually, this was satire, and it was funny. Uh, I think that's possible. I I just have a hard time believing that. As creations of God, with the ability to laugh at things, I think is so important. And I actually incorporate it in my daily um, uh, life. It is it is probably my default, is in a tense situation mm-hmm. to make a, a light comment, to bring to brevity to it. I, it's just what I like to, yep. to do. Um, kind of just calms everybody down too. Right? I agree. A lot yeah. of a lot yeah, of pastors yeah. do it too before we start the sermon. Hundred percent. You know? Yeah, so. or in the middle, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. talking about uh, hell, and then next thing you know, there's a little mm-hmm. bit of a okay. Hey, let's just bring it back a bit. Mm-hmm. I just I think it's it's super important. Um, I could not m- imagine a world without it, and right. I I think about what I enjoy and what I think is funny, and most things I can find humor in. I really do, and I I feel like I'm connected to God and you know His love for me and what Jesus did for me, and still can find humor in life. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And I think God wants yeah. us to have that, right? He Absolutely, to, to enjoy life, to laugh, things like uh, things along those lines. So, yeah, you think about your kids. Um, I think about this, and of course, I think you guys know my wife was like is like a 
uh, takes so many pictures, but she also does a lot of video. And so we just have tons and tons of video for my kids and like dumb, dumb things you would never think to take video of, of like my two little girls sitting at the table and um, one making a funny noise and the other just laughing hysterically, mm-hmm. right? And just that cackle, full, free laugh that kids have, man. And I, I every time I hear it, it just brings like a little like emotion out. Mm-hmm. It's almost like tearful because <laughs> they're getting older, right? It, tearful in a good way. And I think, so when I think about humor and laughter and joy, I think about that. I think about young kids who don't know when not and to, right? They yep. just think something's funny and they just laugh, man, from the gut. They mm-hmm. just shaking bellies and laughing. And I mean, if you tell me God didn't create that, I'd be, I'd be surprised. So, and, and so therefore I say humor maybe isn't, is ex, you know, explicitly in the Bible, but it is it is definitely part of our lives and yep. we are creations of him Agreed. so yeah fun times and that's why dad jokes are the best mm-hmm. so i hope you guys took notes and you have all our dad jokes yeah. matthew matthew don't forget that one i gave you so or comment your favorite dad jokes for us mm-hmm. that's right That'd send it to us say, too, right? we got connections for you and we'll throw that maybe uh at some point we'll get back to throwing that at the end of the episodes but yeah give us uh give us some comments tell us what you think is funny and then uh, give us your own dad jokes. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Connect with us on YouTube. I don't really have anything else. You guys good? I'm, I'm good. All right. Let's try not to laugh over here. <laughs> yeah, I try not to laugh. <laughs> we got to be serious, uh, right? Uh, we got to be serious. Yeah. I'm not sure if I'm ever that. All right. Well, see you guys next time. Adios.